as you can see not a footprint in sight of a human <laughs> what's going on what's going on this is not right <laughs> This is Whitburn. We don't get the snow here. This is the Northeast Riviera, for God's sake, man. We never get snow. So I'm thinking if we've got it here, use lot in land must be kind of wading through deep drifts of snow. Let's just have a oh, look at this. Yes, that, that's certainly got a little bit. It's just been, I mean, it obviously. For people that's kind of got the deep snow, you're probably thinking it's just a little kind of flurry, Tony, just a little flurry of snow. But for us, it's it's pretty good. And you know what? I can just see oh, that it's been stripped. Look at this. I should have protected it, but this is me sprouting broccoli. And this, <laughs> the birds are hammering it. I got one picking. There, look at this is a good view of it. <laughs> oh yeah, rugged. Yeah. <laughs> it's just laughing with madness here yeah, because you, <laughs> look at that, that's the whole top's gone off that one. Well we did get some sprouting broccoli and the calabrese are still hanging in there. So yes, I'm hoping that'll just kind of shoot away. Did I tell you I was leaving the Brussels sprouts, the red Brussels sprouts, I'm leaving them, even if I just get the leaves, the Brussels sprout leaves, but I can see it. <laughs> the cat's been, must just go all around. Broad beans are looking all right, everything's, I'm just coming up, just to have a, to be honest, it's nice to have a little look round in the snow. All the garlics coming good. I think I'm kind of there with the whole beds. I think I'm, I'll have to probably sort this one out. Just get rid of them now. You know what I mean? There's not much left on them. I'll take some pickings from this one and that one there and possibly that one and then clear this bed out. I think, oh, that's going to seed there. I thought that was a way Bit of, I don't know if that's bird crap on me thing. It's you can tell it's took a hit, but it'll sort of pick up that. So that's not a problem. But this bloody thing is they'll come, they'll come again, man. We, there's enough for everyone. Hey mind, it is absolutely gorgeous. Do you want to see a design flaw of mine as well? My polytunnel. I put that edging down and the snow sits in there. Can you see like that? So I've got to get, I mean, it's just light, fluffy stuff, but if I don't move it, the, it form, it goes, it eventually goes into ice. And I'm, then it's a little bit stretchy in the plastic. So a little simple, look at this snow. <laughs> I feel like a five year old in the snow. There we go, that'll do. Daffodils and tulips are coming up. Lovely, lovely. It's all star. Spring's only just around the corner, man. There's no, I'm sure there's nothing in here. Oh, I've got them. I don't know if they need a water, but I've got them. Onions in here. Have they took a hit? Are they all right? Oh, they're all right. They're fine, they're fine. I'll check as well the temperature. I'll just get me, get me phone, check the temperature, see what, see what it's been because it has been some, well we've had the, the kind of fire on constantly, you know what I mean, so that's a, a reason to know it, it's cold. Minus bloody three, oh man, I don't know when it was, I didn't, I haven't got my glasses on to kind of have a look, I should put my glove back on, so Everything's all right. It's just, we're just in this kind of waiting stage. You know, I'm quite, I'm quite pleased. I got the, 
the raspberry done. I'm going to do the strawberries soon. That'll be kind of next up. And I'm just prepping now with the potatoes to kind of get the potatoes all sorted. I'll do a video on the potatoes because I have got the full ensemble of the potatoes ready to rock and roll as well. Just check the elephant garlics. Looking good. There's some of these, I don't know if they're getting picked. The red, white, is that red? I can't hit on the 6th of October. Some of them are missing. The elephant garlic's all right. Most of them have come. They've all come there, no problem. And like you say, they're all great. In, in the winter, they just stand. They just kind of, just go into themselves. All these are the purple early white. I planted these on the 2nd of November. There's quite a few there, <laughs> I didn't realise. So yes, looking good. What else? Oh, have a look at me. Garlic in here. Someone mentioned that this garlic was going a bit yellow. And it does, it will just kind of, it kind of sinks back, you know, like, but it'll certainly pick up. And I'm hoping, my, I'm hoping there's big things happening with that garlic there. That's good, that's, you know, if there was ever a kind of Whitburn show for garlic, I'm, that's what I'll be putting in, I'm hoping. Anything else going on? I'll tell you what, I, I never got round to doing, just, once, it's funny, once that cold snap gets you, you just, unless you've got like a kind of DIY project, you don't bother coming up, but I wanted to, actually I should get Junior to help, because he's still here, poor bugger, to get that all mixed together as well. I never got that sorted out. Yes, yeah, so we'll need them strawberries. Everything's just like, isn't it? Just a lot to get over to the bees as well, to be honest. Everyone keeps asking us about the bees. I'm, I'm hoping with that big feed, there was enough and I've got some more to give them. But... I'm just hoping that's all right for them. I'm hoping that bloody calabrese comes, comes good. I mean, I could take it now, you know, and have a meal <laughs> and just, you know, cut them while the going's good before the bloody birds. That's, that's annoyed me, that, in a little way, just a little way. I'm ho I was dead confident before it, but there's enough for everybody. <laughs> bloody better me. It's one of my favourite veg. Oh, we're all right, we're all right. I just want to, like I say, come up. And there's no one, there's no one on the allotment. Do you know what I mean? So, it's a glorious day. But there's nothing happening up here. I mean, it's all happening down in the, in the, in the, in the pot and shed. That's where the kind of the hive of activity is going on at the moment. You can see there. These are the only reapers I've got left. Now these were mine and I planted these ones first. They're my reapers and I've got th the whole thing just went and I'm going to do a, an update on the kind of the sale of the reapers and you know profit and loss and was it worth it and everything like that. But yeah you can see there as well those are my Hungarian hot wax. The nicest honestly. The reapers are great for fun. Do you know what I mean? Give kudos and giving yourself the, you've grew the hottest chilli in the world. But a chilli to kind of use and cook with, you cannot go wrong with the Hungarian hot wax. Now I've put all them in little jiffy things and they're ready for sale. So if you want to drop us an email, so for not, it's up there, I'll put it on the screen as well. And there's a link below or an email below. Give us a shout and we'll sort something out. I think it's for six. $14.99 postage included. Now this kind of go over the kind of America, anything like that. So it's just the UK. So that's that's that. If you want a Tony C. Smith Hungarian hot wax, and these are my seeds, not from bought ones, these are the ones well eventually they were originally they were bought. But these are ones I collected where I had a great crop. Not last year, the year before. <laughs> last year we don't like to talk about no we don't. We don't mention them ones. So, 
sofa note at gmail if you want some give, get in quick honestly because I, I mentioned on the live stream if anyone turned up for the live stream thank you very much and i just mentioned that i've got a few reapers left and they all went and then i was cut short and i had orders already to kind of go out and they're bloody gone i had to use two of mine <laughs> i'm not a businessman right listen look after yourselves and we'll see you when it's a little bit warmer take good care